Today I'm going to show you three ways to use up those craft supplies that I know you're hoarding in your craft room. Thanks for joining me today. The first way that we're going to use our cards is with a card swap. Hi guys, guess what came in the mail today? I'm so excited. It is a card swap that I did. These are the cards from the other people. So since this was a card swap that kind of took place in Colorado, and I'm in Wisconsin, as you guys know, let's take a look at what these cards look like. I'm so excited. I'm looking at these with you, so whatever we see is what we see. Before I even get started, I think it's just so cool. And if you guys have an opportunity to do this, go on Facebook and look for card making groups that's where I found this group. There's an awesome person who is coordinating it and she mailed these all to me. So this is actually mine. <laughs> Funny, I would open my, the one that I made for the group, but that is mine. Okay, it looks like we got this. Looks like we got three people that actually did them. So this is one of them. The person who made her mother gave her paintings created by Tiffany's aunt or cousin and Tiffany made them into cards. That is awesome. And the theme was hearts because of Valentine's Day. The next one is kind of a square looking card. Ooh, this one is exciting. It looks like they used like Stapharia or something. Or maybe they just cut all these out. It's a, it's a heart with so multiple layers. I know it's hard to see but it's got multiple layers. So it's got one here, another one here, another one, and then there's a small pink heart and then a couple flowers, uh, fun folds. Look at the fun ice cream cones at the top, some hearts. That is absolutely adorable. She didn't sign it, so awesome card, love it. All right, let's look at the last one. Oh, this is a skunk one. I wonder if this was all one stamp or if she actually looks like it's all one stamp because the eyes are different on the skunks. I was going to say, has anyone tried where you mirror an image? I haven't tried it. Just wondering. I just don't have a stamp that would be cute with that. So if you guys can see the little skunks with the heart, it says love is in the air. And then she put a note in here too. She used a polyclear stamp by Hero Arts, red card, background paper by Echo, Echo something. So I think it's cute. And then look at that. She's got like a little kiss on the envelope. Well, super fun. Just wanted to share with you guys what it's like to be part of a stamp swap. And if you guys remember, these were some of the cards that I had done with the embellishments since the theme was love. Another one. I've got two of these. And these I made with like some little bows. Hope you enjoyed my little swap. If you guys get, if you guys are in swaps, let me know in the comments because I just think that's such a great way to keep us working with our products, with our stamping materials, seeing what other people do with their stuff. So this person used a lot of cutouts, not stamping necessarily. This person, you know, has a big stamp and a big stamp here and then a bunch of different design paper as well. So lots of creativity here. I love it. I love that these people took the time to be part of this swap. Can you believe that I just found another one on the ground? <laughs> so I must have dropped it when I was putting the envelope up here. So let's open this one together. Oh, this one someone put a lot of time into. It looks like they used colored pencils, but it's a couple of chickens or roosters. And it says be mine and it's just adorable. Can you guys see that? detail that go, went into that one. Super nice. And this one, the note in this one, it says, I love you, a bushel and a peck. That is absolutely adorable. And these are, these are cutouts. Hope to guys, see you guys soon in a crafting video coming up this week. See you soon. Next is attending a card demonstration. It is a very sunny day today, but very cold out here in southeastern Wisconsin. But we're headed to our Stampin' Up! demonstrator's house so that she can show us a little bit about the new catalog. And I always get great stamping ideas. So come along with me. It's super important to go to these things because otherwise we just collect all these stamp things and we don't do anything with them. So we need to get new ideas. We need to meet with other people. My Stampin' Up! demonstrator 
Anita. She's awesome and she always has really great ideas. She ties them into the catalog so you can buy them if you're interested or you can just get ideas and talk to other people and be social. I like to use my stamping things and so I think it's this is one of those really important ways to do that. Well, let's see what we make today. So I went to my crafting demonstration with Stampin' Up! and I made some beautiful cards so I wanted to show them to you. I have a very very creative Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Her name is Anita so I'll link her information below in case you want to order some stuff from her. I think this stuff is pretty awesome and I can't wait to order some. These are the cards we made today at Stampin' Up! Step stamp demonstration. I'll show you them each one. Anita is super crafty, came up with all of these ideas on her own. And last but not least is to teach or create with others. I have the great opportunity to help someone that I started crafting with about 25 years ago. She hasn't really done a lot with her crafting since then, so I'm creating a little box for her and I'm going to put some papers in it. She doesn't have a die cutting machine or an embossing machine. So I'm going to emboss some beautiful papers for her and this will allow me to use my embossing folders and try them out with some different papers and things like that. This will give me an opportunity to view some of my crafts but also to instill the joy that I find in this thread that allows me to do some fun things and meet up with a very special friend of mine. She actually is my ex-mother-in-law but she she is also a great friend of mine. I am so looking forward to surprising her with some of these papers and this little crafting kit I put together for her. I'm looking forward to just a day of catching up and being able to craft together and do something that we did, you know, 25 years ago. So she's been going through some tough times with some illness and things like that. So I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. And 20 or 25 years ago, we didn't do a lot with die cutting and different papers. We did a lot with like this. We kind of just stamped. We did a little bit of wet embossing but that was really it. No embossing machines and things like that. So she's going to be tickled at all this beautiful paper. And I just kind of embossed different colors and different themes. So I did some birthday ones. I did some flower ones. I did some, a couple of masculine ones too, with some just wood looking and then some just generic grid lines and things like that. So I will certainly love hanging out with her and showing her all these new great things that are part of card making in today's world. So I kind of stopped when my kids were born and now that my kids are grown and out of the house I was able to pick this back up get back in touch with my stamp it up friend and she's now my stamp it up demonstrator and the rest is kind of history and I'm just absolutely loving it so this is another great way to use your card supplies and even some of the things that you might not normally use I don't use all of my embossing folders I love embossing folders but I don't use them all the time so this will keep me using some of them take out some older ones since she hasn't done this in a long time we used to use the rubber stamps on the wood blocks so I just put some extra stamps that I had or I have a lot of duplicate stamps for whatever reason so I just kind of assembled them on some of these acrylic blocks that I really don't use I've got a lot of acrylic blocks so I just kind of created some extra stamps for her and I put it in this box I got this box at Hobby Lobby for three dollars and it's just going to hold some things where I just put you know extra papers extra stamp pads that I'm not using but that are relatively new and still juicy. Some scissors, some glues, and dots, and all sorts of fun stuff and some scissors so that she can kind of just have some new stuff to stamp with. We'll have a great time just kind of going through it all and I'll be able to leave these with her and she'll be able to craft some without me and then we can meet up again and do some more crafting. I also gave her some of my stickers and just some different embellishments and things like that. I also gave her die cuts that were already 
cut out. Sorry, this is a little bit off screen. She'll be thrilled with some of these different things that she can use. That were, They were things that were just not around when we were doing this 25 years ago. So I'm going to assemble everything in here, all these embossed papers and all the little stamps and everything. Most of you that know me know I love to label, so I'm going to label her box with Gail's card stamping stuff. I think that'll also be kind of fun for her. There you go, Gail's card crafting. Awesome. I think she's going to love it. Next, what I decided I wanted to do was to die cut out some sentiments. She sent me a birthday card and she stamped happy birthday on it, which is why I brought some of the stamp pads. But also, these weren't around when we did this 25 years ago. So I thought she'd get a kick out of all of these die cut sentiments because they have the shadow behind it. I put some in black and some in white. Uh, I thought that those would be fun for her as well. So you see here, I just kind of die cut a lot of these out and you'll see that I throw them all together. And we have quite a few little sentiments for different holidays and different celebrations and things like that. And there they all are. So I'll gather these all up, put them also in her little kit. As I assemble this box, I think it's important to state that I think this one might be the most important way to use your crafting supplies just all of these things, we got to use our stamps. I hear and see so many people that are always saying, you know, I just, I buy all this stuff and then I don't use it. So let's get using our crafts because they're awesome. When you actually use your stamp supplies or your card crafting supplies, it feels like it's worth it. So thanks for joining me as I went through these three ways that you can make sure that you use all your craft supplies. If you enjoyed today's content, please click the like button and also subscribe to my channel as I create one to two videos per week. Usually one card crafting video and another video about either my dogs and their health and happiness or RV travels or other travels. Subscribe and then make sure you click the notification button so that you're notified every time I put out new content. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.